In today's video, we will see nearly 10 examples of Excel tips and tricks. Let's start with our very first example. Over here, we have got our initials, first name and middle name. And our target over here is to get full name. And our formula will be plus or equal to text join, bracket open, delimiter. What we want to put as delimiter between two text. So we want space. I'll put double inverted comma space double inverted comma close comma. We got two options. True, ignore empty cells. False, include empty cells. We will go ahead with very first one and that is true comma text one. So as text one, we can take the initials comma text two. We will take the first name comma text three. We will take middle name or last name. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And we got the full name. Let's try it other way. I'll double click on the formula and we'll delete all the text. Means text one, text two and text three. And as text one, I'll select all three together. Let's see what result we are going to get. And we'll hit enter. And we got the desired result. I'll drag this down. Let's move to next example. Text split. Over here we have got our name. And against name, I want initials, first name, and last name. Or just say, I want to split my text. Let's use our formula plus or equal to text split bracket open text. This is our text, comma, column delimiter. Between two text, what is our delimiter? So it's space. So I'll put double inverted comma space, double inverted comma close, bracket close, and I'll hit enter and we got the desired result. I'll drag this down. Let's move to next example. Text split two. Over here we have got our text and all the text is in a single cell and we have to divide our text over here. Let's use text split plus or equal to text split bracket open text. This is our text, comma, column delimiter. What is our column delimiter over here? It's space. So I'll put double inverted comma, space, double inverted comma, close, comma, row delimiter. If we see our text, our row delimiter is comma. Between two names, we have got comma. So I'll put double inverted comma, comma, double inverted comma, close, bracket close, and I'll hit enter. And we got the desired result. Let's move to next example. Filter. Over here, we have got our sales data and in our sales data, all the departments are together means sales of all the departments are together. But in our filtered list, we want data department wise. On top, we can see stationary and we have got a drop down over here. Let's use our formula and the formula will be plus or equal to filter bracket open array as array. We will select our whole data comma include. We want our filtered list department wise. So we will have to include all the departments from top to bottom is equal to double inverted comma. I want data of stationary. So I'll type stationary over here. Double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter and we got the data of stationary. In case you want to make it dynamic, just click on the formula, double click over here, go to the end. Delete stationary and click on the drop down. Enter. Now, whenever I change the department from top, my data will keep on updating. Perfect. Let's move to next example. V stack. On the top, we have got two data and we want to combine the data over here. So, my formula will be plus or equal to V stack bracket open array one. This is my array one comma array 2 my array 2 is second data in case you have got more data just put comma and keep on selecting the data once data is selected we will close the bracket and we'll hit enter and we got the desired result let's see our next example v stack with drop over here we have used v stack but while using the formula we haven't selected headers but over here we will select headers also. Let's insert the formula plus or equal to v stack bracket open array one. 
This time we will select the data with headers, comma, formula is not visible. I'll change the color, plus or equal to v stack bracket open array one. I'll select the whole data along with headers, comma, array two. Again, we will select the data with headers, bracket close, and I'll hit enter. And both the list got connected. But one thing to notice over here, our headers got repeated. So what can be done over here to avoid headers? We can use drop. Let's understand drop first. Plus or equal to drop bracket open array. I'll select my data along with headers, comma, rows. How many rows I want to avoid or drop? Let's put zero over here, bracket close, and I'll hit enter. And we got the data along with headers. I'll double click on the formula. I'll remove zero and we'll put one, enter. And just notice the very first row got avoided. So over here, we will use drop along with v stack plus or equal to v stack bracket open array one. This is my array one, comma, array two. Over here, we will use drop bracket open array. So we have to provide array of drop now. I'll select my second data along with headers, comma, rows. How many rows I want to drop? So I want to drop one row. I'll put one bracket close. We will close the bracket till we can't see black bracket and we'll hit enter. And we got the desired result. And just notice this time headers are not repeated. Let's move to our next example. Unique. We have got our sales data over here. When we see our department, our departments are getting repeated. And our target over here is to get the departments just a single time. Let's use unique plus or equal to unique bracket open array. This is our array. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And we got all the departments over here, but none of the departments are repeated. Let's come to items plus or equal to unique bracket open array. We will select all the items from top to bottom. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Over here, none of the items are repeated. If I come to left, we'll drag down oranges. Just notice our item list got reduced. Let's see our next example. Sort. What sort does? When we see our item list, it's not in alphabetical order. Let's use sort plus or equal to sort. Bracket open array. This is our array. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And we got the item list in alphabetical order. But many items are getting repeated. So how to deal with this? We will cover in our next example. Unique with sort. Data is same. Let's use unique first plus or equal to unique bracket open array. This is our array. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And we got the unique list. But our unique list is not in alphabetical order. So over here, we will use sort. We'll double click on our formula. We'll come in the very beginning and we'll use sort. S O R T sort bracket open. We'll come to the end. We'll close the bracket of sort and we'll hit enter. And we got our unique list in alphabetical order. Let's see our next example. X lookup. On the left hand side, we have got our sales department wise, but on the right hand side, we want department and sales against items. Let's use X lookup plus or equal to X lookup bracket open lookup value. We want our data against items, so I'll select items as my lookup value, comma, lookup array, where we have to look for the specific item. So we have to look for the specific item from this list. So I'll select the list from top to bottom. We have to drag down our formula. So we will lock our range by pressing F4 or function F4 one time, comma, return array. In return, what we want? So in return, we want department. We will come to left and we'll select the departments from top to bottom. We will press F4 or function F4 one time and our range will be locked. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Let's drag down our formula. 
and just notice pens stationery apples fresh products so we got the desired result let's use x lookup once again for sales plus or equal to x lookup bracket open lookup value we want sales of items so items will be our lookup value comma lookup array where we have to look for the items in this list so we will select the list from top to bottom we will lock our range by pressing f4 or function f4 one time comma return array in return what i want so in return i want sales so i'll come to left and we'll select sales from top to bottom we'll press f4 or function f4 to lock our range we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we'll drag down our formula and just notice we got the desired result let's move to next example substitute in all the employee names we have got monk in the end and we want to replace monk with champ we will use substitute for this plus or equal to substitute bracket open text this is our text comma old text so our old text over here will be monk so i'll take double inverted comma monk or monk double inverted comma close comma by mistake i have taken monk in upper case let's see what result we are going to get new text new text will be champ so i'll put double inverted comma champ double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter and we got the result but it's not desired let's double click on the formula and let's change the case enter now we got the desired result i'll drag down my formula perfect let's see our next and last example over here we will see two examples in the very beginning we will see ifs and after that we will see choose over here we have got few criteria below one day overdue below or equal to 15 days due above 15 days not due and we have to apply these criteria on days pending let's use is first plus or equal to ifs bracket open so our very first criteria is below one day is overdue so i'll click on days pending is smaller than one if it will be smaller than one as a result i want overdue so i'll put comma double inverted comma overdue double inverted comma close comma i'll take this down second criteria is below or equal to 15 days it's due so i'll click on days pending is smaller than or equal to 15 as a result we want due so i'll put comma double inverted comma due double inverted comma close comma third criteria i'll take this down above 15 days not due so i'll click on days pending is greater than 15 as a result we want not due so i'll put comma double inverted comma not due double inverted comma close bracket close and i'll hit enter and we got not due i'll drag down my formula and just notice we got the desired result the sales got highlighted because i have applied conditional formatting over here let's come to next example and that is choose formula will be plus or equal to choose bracket open index number as an index number we will put one plus we are adding one plus in the beginning to avoid errors and make sure our conditions land exactly on the right label bracket open i'll click on days pending smaller than or equal to 15 this is for our second criteria of due bracket close plus we'll click on days pending once again let's take this in bracket bracket open we'll click on days pending is smaller than one bracket close this is for our very first criteria that is overdue comma if these criteria don't meet i want not due so i'll put double inverted comma not due double inverted comma close comma we'll take this down so in choose we have inserted the first criteria for due and second criteria for overdue so i'll type double inverted comma due double inverted comma close comma double inverted comma overdue double inverted comma close bracket close and i'll hit enter 
and we got the result. I'll drag this down and just notice in both the places we got the same result. So these were the few examples of Excel tips and tricks. I'll provide the link of file in description box. In case you want to download, you can. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic till then. Bye-bye.